I used polls as supporting information when I'm trying to make a point before. But two new polls in recent news are so ludicrous that I think it's time to address the fact that polls are generally stupid crap. Stupid poll number one. The Pew Internet and American Life Project recently released new data on how Americans engage with online video. They found that only 12% of all American adults who go online watch porn. And that is some crap right there. There's no way that only 12% of American adults online have watched porn. Even Pew itself noted in the survey that people might have lied about the porn question. Stupid and much more insidious, poll number two. The National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, or NAHAMES, is a research program that's been administered and funded by the CDC for the past 40 years. It's the most comprehensive health survey in the U.S., and it's used for important things, like determining what initiatives will get funding and making all those big statements like how many Americans are obese, that kind of thing. In the survey, tens of thousands of people are given checkups and are asked to report what they ate for the past 24 hours. Just recently, independent researchers took a closer look at Nahane's findings over the past 40 years and discovered the results seem physiologically impossible. The data clearly demonstrates that the people surveyed were lying about how many calories they ate, which means that 40 years of health information about Americans is probably wrong. So polls are full of crap because they rely on people telling the truth. That's ludicrous enough. But polls also ask only a relatively small amount of people questions and assume their answers reflect the feelings of an entire population. And pollsters also control how they frame those questions, which can oftentimes be misleading. So the bottom line is there are many reasons to never rely on or quote a poll. Unless, of course, the poll findings are something you agree with, then they can totally be used as irrefutable scientific proof to back up whatever point you're trying to make. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident. Yeah.